the assessment standards were all revisited and enhanced. Gold accreditation panels were also remodelled. This activity all goes to demonstrate that despite all the challenges, the changes and the uncertainty of the pandemic, Dobbish Community Health Services staff have still maintained their focus and priority in delivering excellence in patients' care. When the pandemic began, I was leading on uh, supporting the champions across uh, the trust. We have to modify our way of thinking. We have to change uh, the way we work and embrace all the changes that were coming so fast. Throughout the whole pandemic year, the champions have been fundamental. The impact is amazing. Eighty percent of colleagues rated their experience of working from home as either positive or very positive. That said, the biggest struggles that came out were around missing the company of colleagues, being able to take breaks and feeling disconnected from the team. We also asked a number of questions about returning to base and the main hesitations that came out of this were around decreased flexibility and work-life balance, potentially an increased travel burden, the risk of getting exposed to COVID-19 and 32% of colleagues also said that they thought they would be less productive. As the Trust Freedom to Speak Up Guardian, I have supported staff during the pandemic to raise any concerns that they have confidentially and safely. At one stage, we were getting a theme of adherence to social distancing within our sites. This was escalated from the Guardian to the executive team and through Facebook Friday, we supported staff to be able to challenge where this was an issue. The Trust supported by providing two metre stickers and lanyards to help. Quality conversation is about truly listening to the people that we talk to, mm -hmm. listening to understand their situation, um, takes into account the health inequalities that they face and the lives they're born into, grow, live and work. Um, it's about being curious and engaging with the citizens that we um, work with using a coaching approach, mm -hmm. um, changing the energy of the conversation to work in partnership together adult to adult rather than us telling them what to do and recognising that they, um, the people we're working with, they're the agents of change and our role is just to enable them to move on their thinking and broaden their perspective. Myself and the team on the Rehabilitation Unit have created some um, useful formal education videos for you as patients or for your family members, carers and friends um, to support you um, during the COVID-19 um, pandemic um, as we're not able to bring you in uh, for rehabilitation here. The rapid transition to a virtual physiotherapy service has proven to be really challenging in many ways, particularly with limited capacity for face-to-face -face consultations where needed. However, having said that, it has been appropriate and successful for many patients and in that sense it will be a fundamental part of our service in the future. It's been an absolute privilege to work as part of this big team towards a common goal to really protect Derbyshire's residents and staff from Covid. completely different to what I expected. Uh, coming in and not really being able to do any treatment because there was no patients to do the treatment on. And then not long after that, obviously I got redeployed, which was, it wasn't obviously particularly nice, but it, it opened my eyes to what other staff do because I was redeployed as a HCA on a COVID ward. So uh, got to see lots of different things, but it's been really nice then to come back and everything start to get back to normal. It's been a difficult challenge in 18 months working on a Covid ward for the whole team. At times we felt isolated but as a team with support from some amazing redeployed we carried each other through. Gordon. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Teeth, we're aid, our dream, work. work.